it's gonna be six to eight, is to have the eight be like really challenging. Maybe you could do nine or 10, but that'd be like a stretch. So you want that range to be very difficult. So whatever you need to do to make it that, that's what we're gonna, we're gonna encourage you to do. So whether it's using a stronger band or making it more- Monster audio. Hmm? Monster audio for a second. Uh, I think I lost. Yeah. I think I lost the audio. Go ahead. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Nope. Oh. Lost audio. Should we just turn it off headphones? It's okay if I can't hear the music. I can't hear you at all. Can we turn it off headphones? Can I just talk or? Did the headphone die? Maybe attach technical issues. Yeah. Okay. Should we try this one? There's, I don't know if we can pair. All right, try again. All right, can everyone hear me? Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Technical issues again. One of those days, I guess. So, as I was saying, whatever you need to do to make the rep range challenging, that's what we're going to encourage you to do. Whether it's using a heavier band, or making the movement a little more difficult. Like for instance, we'll be doing push-ups today. I'm gonna to be doing them uh, raised with my hands on these dumbbells here. So we can worry about that a little bit more when we get to it. What we're gonna start with is a warm-up circuit. Uh, it's gonna consist of what I like to call band pumps, squats, band pull-aparts, and a uh, band Romanian deadlift. So for the band pumps, it's gonna be sort of like a bench press. You're gonna put this band around your back Hold it in your hands. We're just gonna do it like a bench press or a dumbbell press, focusing on flexing the chest, flexing the triceps. Okay, so we're gonna start with 15 to 20 of those. Then we're just gonna do some good old body weight squats, hands on the head if you can, otherwise putting your arms out. The pull apart, you're probably gonna wanna use your lightest band for the pull apart, but if you're really strong, maybe you can get away with uh, another one. Okay, we're gonna do pull aparts. That's gonna be like this, arms are straight out in front of you, you're just pulling it to your chest. That's gonna be 25 to 40 of those. It's gonna really warm up the upper back. And then we're gonna do a Romanian deadlift to warm up the hamstrings. So you're just gonna come up, come down like that. If, you, if that's too easy, you know, you can loop your hands, make a little more tension or step a little wider, keep tension on there, come up, okay? So again, that's gonna be 15 to 20. Everyone grab your band. Let's start with those band pumps. So 15 to 20 of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is just a warm up, so it shouldn't be too hard. 11, 12, 13. You have to speak up a lot. 15, 16. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right, set your band down. Squats. We're gonna do twenty to twenty-five of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'll stop at 20. <clears throat> now pull apart. The easiest way to hold on to this is to wrap it around your hand like so on both sides. So arms straight out in front, pull it to your chest. One, two, three. Ten. Remember, we're doing a 25 to 40. This is great for shoulder health. That's 30 for me. I'll go to the 40. I really like to warm my shoulders up a lot. Three, two, one. <clears throat> Band RDLs. You might use, be able to use your heavy band for this one. It's all gonna depend on how strong 
you're feeling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> Lost my headphone. All right. Oh, it's one of those error filled days, I guess. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. What's it they say in office space? Looks like somebody's got a case of the Mondays. All right, one more round of that. So band pumps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. As you can see, I went up to that heavier band there. Now that I'm a little bit warm. All right, squats. <clears throat> 10. <clears throat> Pull parts. So again, I'm gonna go up to the slightly heavier band. Now that my shoulders are a little bit warm. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, twenty-four. Stop at twenty-five. Keep going to forty if you can. Switch out my headphone. Oh shit! All right. Ah, now I can hear the music. Very nice. All right. RDLs one more time. Fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. All right. So that was our warm up. What we're going to do today is a series of supersets. That means relatively back to back with the exercises, but they're going to be different muscle groups. So first one we're going to do is going to be push ups. You're going to put the band around your back just like we did on those band pumps, and then you're gonna do push-ups. We're looking to do six to eight. Again, I want that eight to be a really challenging eight. So if you're not very good at push-ups, maybe do regular push-ups without a band, or do them on your knees with a band, or, or raise it up on something. Whatever you need to do to make eight pretty challenging. Then we're gonna do rear foot elevated split squat. So that's where you put your foot up on a bench like this. The way we're gonna load it is you're gonna step on your band, come down to the ground, and then put it on like overalls. Like that. That way you can then come up. That's gonna provide some resistance. We're going for six to eight on that one as well. So if you need to, go up to a heavier band, or maybe double up like your medium band and your light band. Whatever you need to do. We're gonna do three sets of both of those. So. If your first set is a little too easy, that's okay. You can make it more challenging on the second and third set if you need to. So go ahead and get set up. Let's do our push-ups. I'm gonna get started here in three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. All right. Now split squats. See, yeah, I know, I know, I'm gonna need to double these bad boys up at least. So I'm gonna start on my left leg. We're doing both sides, so use whatever you need to use. And three, two, one. Two, try to get nice and low. Three, four, five, six. Try to just push off with the working leg. One more, eight. Back leg is just there for balance. Let's switch sides. Three, two, one. One, two, flex those quads, squeeze your butt. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. Take a minute. We're going to go back to the push ups. I'm going up to the heavies band. Set up on your back. Ooh, this might be too hard. Let's see. All right. Three, two, one. One, two, four, five. Try to touch your chest all the way to the ground. Six, seven. Tough. Get used to these exercises because we're going to be doing them for the next six weeks with different difficulty and what are called intensity techniques, meaning ways to make them harder at the end. So let's get our split squat set up. Three. Two, one, one, two, five, six, seven, eight. It's a good burn. side. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, feel that. We got one more. Set of those two. Here. See, we're not doing this for cardio, so we don't have to rush between supersets. But we also don't want to go needlessly slow. All right. Last set of these. Let's make them our best set. Nice tight core. Down nice and slow. Explode up. One. All right, good pump in my chest. Felt like some work. It's exactly what we're going for. This first week, it's not terribly, terribly hard, other than we're trying to push, you know, to the limit of that rep range. But it's kind of a ease in intro. It's gonna get harder as we go along. 
All right, set of split squats. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, switch legs. Three, two, one. Try to flex that muscle, keep some tension on it. Don't rest at the top. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. All right, first soup set done. Catch a breath. Take a little rest. I'll demonstrate our next superset. This is gonna be a bend over row and good mornings. So for the row, you're gonna stand on whichever band or bands you're gonna use. Bent over, nice flat back. You're gonna pull your elbows back. What we're not doing is curling. Okay, so you want to bend your arms to about 90 and focus on driving your arms back. Okay, if you're only coming here, but bending your arms, you're doing a curl. You want to work your back. So go light enough that you can bring your arms behind you. Okay. And then we're going to superset with some squats. This is going to be kind of a front squat. So we're going to start wide. You're going to come down. I like to twist. For that added tension into an X like this, you're gonna hold it in front over your shoulders, pull it away from your neck, and come up. Okay, if even this band is too easy, use multiple bands. The other thing you can do is do it like we did with our split squats, where you put it on like those overalls. But that's going to be a lot harder. I'll show you that. So you go like this. Alright, so start with whatever level of effort you need. I'm actually going to do our rows. Double up like this. So I feel like I can really go to Get a good back contraction. So the wider you put your feet on the bands, the more tension there's going to be, the harder it is. So keep in mind you can play with that. I'll give everyone about 10 more seconds here to get set up in their bent over row position. And this is 8 to 10. Maybe three sets of 8 to 10 of these. 3, 2, 1. Pull the elbows back. Keep your chest up. Try to hold at the top for our count. Hold. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. I'm gonna go two more. Nine. Ten. All right. Squats. I'm going to start this way. So remember, form into an X. Bring it over your shoulders. Front squat. Three, two, one. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10. All right, first set done. Got to retie my shoe, take a minute. I hate to say it, but I think next set I have to do it uh, overall style. I don't really want to, but that's too easy. 
All right, get my row bands. You can also do these if you have something to loop it over. You can loop it around, do it like that. But in the meantime, we're gonna stick with this one. All right, bench over rows. Three, two, one. Pull those elbows back. Keep your chest up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One more. Perfect catch. All right. Squats. Like I said, I got to go overall style. Not the easiest to get into, obviously. Okay. Three, two, one. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's a lot harder, ten, all right, one more round. side of your back. Don't want your back around. Five, six, eight, nine, ten. All right. One more set of squats. The other way you can do it, if that's too easy or too weird, but maybe this is more challenging, loop it around your neck, stand on it like this, and squat. Uh, it's probably too easy for me, as much as I'd love it not to be. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. Take a breather. That was it for that super set. Next one we're going to do is going to be good mornings and pull downs. So I'll give you a couple extra minutes. Try to attach this around something up high, like a door. If you have bands and you don't have a door anchor, grab a t-shirt or a thin towel, tie two knots and one on either side, throw that over the door, shut the door, so you're pulling towards the door jam. You can loop your band through that knotted thing like this. And we're gonna need something like that for the pull downs. Good mornings are sort of like those Romanian deadlifts we did as part of our warm up. Only the weight's gonna be up high. So you're gonna come like this, come down, come up. So you're reaching back with your booty, keeping your back flat, squeezing your hips to come up, pushing them through. 
Slight bend the knee. Push him back. All right. And then for the pull downs, as I said, you're going to loop it around something. It's ideally a little bit higher than you are. Come down. Up our knees. We go. We're going to pull down and in. Hold at the bottom. Like that. With the good mornings, again, if you X that band up, it'll be a little bit harder. If you overall style, it'll be a little bit harder. You could put multiple bands. Do what you gotta do to make it challenging. We're looking for 12 to 15. So let's get set up there for the good mornings. Three, two, one, nice flat back. Reaching back with the butt, load your hips and hamstrings. You feel a lot of stretch through here. Again, 12 to 15 on this as well. Three, two, one. Thrust your chest out. Hold at the bottom. Control it on the way up. Don't let it just yank you. So if you saw, that's pretty, that pretty easy, that set for me, so I'll have to make it a little more challenging on both of those exercises. So I'll double up on some bands. Let's get set up. Tell us some good mornings again. This is a great exercise to keep your back healthy. Remember, this is resting on your traps, not your neck. So if you're feeling uncomfortable on your neck, bring it a little lower. You can put a towel under there if you need to. All right, three, two, one. I'm gonna feel a little lighter too. I just want a little more tension on there. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thirteen. Fifteen. Back to the pull downs. Getting a lot of feedback from myself here, Jerry. Watch my arms. I'm trying to minimize pulling with those. I'm trying to use my back. I'm not straightening out my arms, but I'm letting my back come up. And then pulling down, thrusting my chest out. Fifteen. 
we've got one more round of those two. I'll show you another way you can do these good mornings if you need to make them harder. This is probably the hardest way. Loop it around over your shoulders, put it over one foot, put it over the other foot. You're going to start in that bottom position, but that's okay. Make it a little harder. All right, three, two, one. Three more. Thirteen. Fifteen. It's a nice back bump. All right, one more set of pull downs. Try to be sitting far back enough that there's tension throughout the whole range of motion. So you feel a good stretch at the top. All right, three, two, one. Obviously, the farther back you are, the harder it's gonna be. You can play around with that. Remember, we just want 12 to 15 to be pretty hard. Eight. All right, so that's our main work set. We're gonna finish off with just some uh, little pump work here. Uh, take a rest, catch, catch breath. I'll go through what this is gonna be because we're gonna do it as a circuit. You can reference your screen and see it. So let me explain the exercises to you. First one's gonna be curls. Most people are probably familiar with these. Good old bicep curls. You can stand on the band like so, kind of treat it like a dumbbell, all right? that's too hard, you can stand on one of them like this, kind of do it like that. So you're standing on the inside. We're going to do 10 to 12 of everything in this circuit. So remember, we want it to be challenging. This one could be a little less challenging because we're just trying to flush a bunch of blood into all the muscles. After that, we're going to do what's called a TKE squat. You're going to loop your band around something. So if you have like a, a table leg perhaps or a bed post, something like that, that you can loop it around this way. If you're wearing shorts, I highly suggest you put a towel behind your knees because this is going to be right on your kneecaps and it can pull on your hair and kind of hurt. I'm used to it and I'm super tough, so <laughs> no problem. You're going to come back so there's some tension, pull, wanting to pull you forward. You're going to go down into the squat, push your knees back. Forward, push your knees back. See, see how I'm not sitting back and it is in a normal squat? I'm kind of sitting forward and then back. Forward and then back. Right. After that, this is kind of a combination lateral raise, upright row. So you're going to stand on the band, turn it into an X. You're going to lift up and pull apart. So kind of point your pinkies up and pull it apart. Pull it to eye level, pull it apart. Make sense? From there, we don't, we're gonna set our bands down for a minute. We're gonna put our foot up on the bench or bed or chair or whatever you may have access to. And we're gonna do some single leg glute bridging, squeezing the butt, pushing the hips up as high as you can, flexing the hamstring, flexing the glute, not arching the back. This is not about the back, this is about the hips. So it's gonna be 10 to 12 on each leg. And we're gonna take our band again. We're gonna do some shoulder pressing. You have two options here for shoulder pressing. You can stand on the band, do it like this, like a dumbbell, 
Or if you find that too challenging, stand on the inside of the band and do one arm at a time. Obviously, pick a band, it's gonna be hard for that 10 to 12. Or if you're really, really strong, double your band up kind of thing and you can press single arm that way as well. Those are all options. Then we're gonna loop our band over the door or whatever it is you're using again. And we're gonna do what's called tricep press down. So you're gonna put your elbows to your sides, extend down. Like so. I hope that makes sense to everybody. And we're gonna start with some curls. So get your band ready for that. Just try to pump these suckers out. 10 to 12, three, two, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. TKE squats. This is the one where you're looping it around. This is also sometimes called Spanish squats, so there's a slightly different execution of it. If you want, you can go a little bit higher reps on this. I find 20, 25 reps feels really good, but otherwise, you know, stick with, stick with that 10 to 12. All right, three, two, one, coming down, pushing the quads back, coming down, pushing the quads back, two, three, four, Five, whoop, six. This is like a squat knee extension. Or leg extension. If you've ever done those in the gym. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Single leg glute bridge. Feet up if you can. If you can't, keep them low. That's fine. All right, three. Two, one, three. Push through the middle of your foot, hold at the top. Six, keep your abs tight. Seven, nice neutral back. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Do like two cantaloupe halves for a butt. <laughs> Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three more if you can. Hold the press. Keep your abs nice and tight, butt tight. Give yourself a stable platform to press off of. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, 
loop it over. You may not be able to do the same band for your presses as you do for your triceps. That's all right. Three, two, one. So those triceps, back of the arm. Ten. Eleven. Take a minute, we'll do one more round, just like that. I'll show you a variation you can do of the lateral raises while we're resting, if you want. It's a little bit harder, but it feels really good. As you stand on it, like we are doing the curls, cross them over each other. You're gonna lift up and apart. So it's gonna look like this. You can give that a shot if you want. I'll probably do that on this next round. All right, get set. Let's do some curls. See if I can, uh, if I can alpha on it, double up my band. All right, curl three, two, one. Oh, I don't know if I can. Two, three. TKE squats or Spanish squats. I'm gonna go to 20 on this one, I think, or I'm gonna try to. Get that nice knee pump. Feels so good after. Not gonna, not gonna get graphic with it, but. All right, three. Those quads. Four. Ooh, we burn it already. Five. Six. Seven. Ooh, eight. And they got 15, I think. Urgh, 15. Right. Woo. Wobbly. All right. Lateral upright rows. Remember, I'm going to do the new variation I showed you. A little bit harder. If your shoulders can take it, give it a shot. As you see, I switched bands. So it's a little bit harder. Make it tough. Three, two, Up and out. Three. You're not pulling with your biceps, you're flexing the shoulder. Keep some tension on it. Every time I make a silly face, this thing falls out. All right, blue bridge. Three, two, one. Three, four, five, six. Imagine you're trying to touch your pelvis to your face. Five, six, seven, 
eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right, almost done. Shoulder press. Tight, butt tight. Seven. Squeeze your quad. Two more. One more set of press downs. It's alright if you don't do it exactly the same time as me. It's not the point. As I said, the point is to build that muscle. Get stronger, all those wonderful things. Keep your elbows to your sides as much as you can. Keep the bands apart. If it gets too hard, put your hands together, you're fine, you'll be able to do more reps. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See if I redo this. Pump out a few more. Whew! Nice little full body workout there. So, today might have felt a little bit easy. Totally fine. We're easing our way into it. Now you kind of have a sense of how the class is going to go. So, you know what bands you can do, how to double them up, all that kind of stuff. We're on a twice a week format where it's the same exercises. We just flip the sets and reps a little bit. So we're going a little heavier with that six to eight on the first two exercises, push-ups and split squats. They'll be the higher reps. They'll be that 12 to 15 range on Thursday when we release the class. Keep in mind, that's not a live class. We're going to film it. And we're going to release it. You can do it on your own, do it with some friends, whatever. And we're going to have, instead, in this 12 o'clock hour, we're going to have a live Q&A session on Instagram Live. On uh, Thursday. Huh? On Thursday. On Thursday, yeah. On Thursday. Uh, so you can take the class, come ask questions, or wait. We're going to release the class. It'll be out like midnight on uh, Thursday morning. So any questions you have related to the classes or anything else, come. You can send them in via DM. You can call in. You can whatever. However you get on Instagram Live. I don't know. Kind of a Luddite over there. So... Anyway, 12 o'clock class, it's not actually a class, it's a kind of office hours Q&A. You can ask anything related to exercise, fitness, nutrition, whatever kind of things you may have. Um, we'll also be uh, releasing a third class. It's not filmed, but it's kind of cardio based. So you can just follow along, it'll tell you what to do. We'll put that out on Instagram. And we're starting a new class on Wednesdays with a new trainer named Joe. Um, that's gonna be at nine o'clock a.m. Pacific time. So uh, it requires some dumbbells. So if you have access to any dumbbells at home and you're interested in taking a, a, another class, check that out. It's also free, of course. And uh, otherwise, happy International Women's Day to all of our strong ladies out there. Uh, we really appreciate everyone who came to the class. And as always, we appreciate any feedback, questions, comments, suggestions, uh, you know, general praise, compliments <laughs> on my beauty. Uh, we'll take it all. Um, and until then, hopefully we see you guys Thursday with some questions.